The Neo 3 is the third iteration of Rotolite's compact, versatile on-camera, LED light. While the Neo 2 was a mild upgrade over the original, the Neo 3 features an entirely new operating system and it now has full RGB capabilities. Although the Neo 3 features a similar exterior design and shape to its predecessors, under the hood is where most of the new changes can be found. The light has full RGB capabilities and it is Kelvin color adjustable from 3000 to 10,000 Kelvin. It also features an easy to use and intuitive touchscreen display which is essentially very similar to the system used on the Titan X1 and Titan X2. Rotolite is claiming that the Neo 3 is the brightest on-camera LED light ever produced. Rotolite claims the output of the Neo 3 was 4541 lux continuous, and 10700 lux flash with a narrow beam angle of 50 degrees. Just like the Neo 2, the Neo 3 can be used as a continuous lighting source as well as having the capability to be used as a high-speed sync flash. The Neo 3 weighs 354 grams or 12.48 ounces which is the same as the original Neo and Neo 2 models which weighs 354 grams or 12.48 ounces. Just like all of the other Rotolites it is manufactured at Pinewood Studios in the UK and the overall build quality should be pretty good. The buttons are nice and tactile and the power on slash off button is well made. The operating system that was on the previous iterations of the Neo was very basic and not overly user friendly. The touchscreen operation and the UI of the Titan X1 and X2 fixtures are superb, and although the system on the Neo 3 isn't the same, it still works on the same principles. The touchscreen interface is easy to use, responsive and intuitive. Rotolite still allows you to make changes to the Neo 3 using the two buttons on the back because there will always be instances when a touchscreen isn't the best option, especially if you are wearing gloves. Rotolite also gives you a ton of preset options for saving your favorite modes. These are easy to save and recall. The Neo 3 has a flash sync port and a USB port for firmware updates. Rotolite gives you a lot of connectivity options on the Neo 3, including Wi-Fi and the ability for it to be used as HSS flash receiver or transmitter. The new Rotolite iOS and Android app allow users to switch between lighting modes to remotely adjust color, power, and SFX. The app also lets you create custom groups and projects for use with up to 20 lights simultaneously. One of the major changes that have been introduced with the Neo 3 is the removal of the ability to run the light from AA batteries. The only way to power the Neo 3 is by using a Sony L-Series, NPF, battery or via mains power. The Neo 3 draws 50 watts, this is a big increase over the 12 watts that the Neo 2 draws. With the Neo 3, you can power it all day as long as you have enough batteries. The light is quite power hungry for a fixture of this size, so if you plan on running it at 100% output you need to factor this in. It is nice that it has a DC input because it allows you to power it from other sources such as a D-tap on a camera battery or directly from a camera. The Neo 3 has three 1 quarter 20 inches mounting points. This gives the user a variety of ways to mount the fixture. The Neo and Neo 2 didn't feature any fans, but the Neo 3 does. There are two small fans on the back of the fixture. The fans are quite noisy when the light is on, especially for such a small device. When selecting the Kelvin color temperature down to 4650K, where the light has the most output, the fans are incredibly loud. The light is completely unusable at this Kelvin setting if you plan on recording audio when the output is at 100%. This is the noise that the fans make. The traditional correlated color temperature CCT, mode allows you to adjust your color temperature from 3000 to 10,000 Kelvin in 20 Kelvin increments. In the HSI mode, you can independently adjust hue, saturation, and intensity. If you select the filter mode you can select from 2500 different filters. Rotolite has always been known for its SFX and the Neo 3 includes an SFX mode with 12 different effects you can choose from. Fade, Lighting, Strobe. Cycle, Fire, Police, TV, Gunshot, Neon, Film, Weld, Paparazzi. How does it perform at various Kelvin color temperatures? The Rotolite Neo 3 is priced at $599. There are also two other kit versions available. Rotolite Neo 3 Ultimate Light Kit is $649. Rotolite Neo 3 LED 3 Light Kit is $2,399. The Neo 3 is a lot more expensive than other on-camera style RGB lights that are on the market. The Neo 2 when it first came out was $399.